Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to talk about the quadratic formula. My objective here for this one is to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Your big question for this one is this. After seeing all the methods of solving, the graphing, square roots, factoring, which one are you likely to use and why? And the reason why I'm asking that is because on the test, you probably will have a lot of freedom as to which one you want to use, as in like whichever method. And sometimes some methods work better than others. Now, a couple of things I would like to mention. The quadratic formula, one, is says this. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the solutions, the zeros, can be found using that formula right there. And it does look like it's complicated to say negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all that divided by 2a. But keep in mind this. One, you have an Inspire, which makes it way easier to type than, say, other calculators. Two, um, you don't have to memorize this formula. It is on the ta it is on your end of course formula chart. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, the other thing I would like to mention is this. As far as things go, factoring can be done sometimes, but it can't be done all the time. Whereas the with the quadratic formula, you can do it all the time. Square roots can be done sometime, but not all the time. And you could still use the quadratic formula even with square roots. It just means your b would be 0 because there's no x. Uh, graphing can be done sometimes, but sometimes you have to play around with the windows. So kind of keep that in mind. The quadratic formula, if you know how to type it in, press enter, copy, paste, that type of thing, makes it super easy. So let's look at this. So here's an example. My example, and I'm only going to do one example with this, and then we can do more different types of problems with an assignment. My example is 2x squared minus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now again, notice here that this is equal to 0. It always needs to be equal to 0. If it's not equal to 0, make it equal to 0. And we did that on the factoring worksheet with the last few problems. The idea here is that we say, okay, what's, the, what's A? A is the number in front of the x squared, so the A is 2. What's b? b is the number in front of the x, which is negative 3. What's c? c is a number all by its little lonesome, which is negative 7. Okay, then I'm going to put those into my uh, equation. Now, for guys, I would ask you to write this on paper first, then worry about the calculator. Okay, so here I am. I'm writing this in. Notice I've got that plus and minus. That means you're actually going to have to do this twice. Once as a plus, and then once as a minus. So we've got this, and you can see this fits the formula. Negative b, x is equal to negative b, the negative of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared, minus 4, times 2, times negative three, 7, all of that divided by 2 times 2. And now we're going to solve this using the calculator. So how do I do that? Well, let's see. Your first step is to press Control and then Divide. When you press control divide, you can see there on that little picture that you will get like a say, fraction symbol. You want that fraction symbol. Then you're basically going to type everything that you've just written in your paper. And when you do that, you should see something like what should end up here. I'm just going to hit forward here. So, and we're going to do the plus first. But if you can look, I've basically got everything. Negative parentheses negative 3 plus square root parentheses negative 3 close it squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7, all of that over 2 times 2. You press enter, and you get that your x, your first answer, is going to be 2.76 whatever, 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 um, and that would be 2.77, round it off. Now to get the second answer, here's the easy part. Instead of having to retype all of that, all you got to do is press up two times until you see it highlighted and then press enter and it will copy over the whole thing and so all you have to do is change the plus to a minus and then press enter and you'll have your second answer and I'm going to show you a couple of those pictures in a second okay so what we need to do again is just press up a couple of times get it highlighted press enter and then you can press you can change the plus to a minus so I believe I have some pictures for that Whoops, okay, jumped ahead of there. Okay, so you can see there, see how I have it highlighted on the picture on the left, I highlighted it, I press enter, and then I went ahead and changed the plus. Look at the, these two, you can see here, there's the, there's the plus, there's the minus down there. And then I press enter, 
Now I can see both my answers right there in front of me. One was 2.76 and the other one was negative, I'm sorry, 2.77, rounded off, and the other one was negative 1.27, rounded off. So you can see there you've got your two answers and that's it. You're done. So x is equal to 2.77 or negative 1.27. So that's it for quadratic formula. It's really that simple. Um, I think this is one of those, the more we practice with it, the easier it will get. And, and you'll probably like this a whole lot. So go ahead. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but make sure you get these notes. Thank you very much.